and we turn to our main event. Tiafimo Lopez, Sandor Martin, thank you for joining us. Uh, Tio, I want to start with you. Um, a title shot awaits the winner. Is it tough to look past this one, or is it, uh, is it mission at hand? Here we go. First off, you know, just got to thank God for everything, all the blessings, and just bringing us here and having the opportunity to show our talents and our gifts to the world. Uh, this definitely is Madison Square Garden, the most of the Mecca of Meccas. You know, so this we all have an opportunity here. We have an objective to to do on Saturday night. And, no, you know, my whole thing really is just how do we continue to pursue on the takeover, takeover. You know, we just got to keep winning. Whoever they put in front of us, we beat them. Guardy, I'm going to ask you to jump in here as well. Uh, Sander took this fight on a three weeks' notice after Pedraza backed out. Are you ready to go? Eh, tomaste esta pelea con tres semanas de anticipación. Eh, luego de lo que sucedió con Pedraza, ¿estás listo para pelear? Estoy absolutamente listo para la pelea, por eso he venido. Eh, son tres semanas de aviso de preparación específica, pero yo venía entrenando en el gimnasio porque soy deportista 24-7 todos los días del año. Quiero agradecer a Bob Barum, a Top Rank la oportunidad que me dan de estar boxeando en el Madison ante un gran adversario como este Ofimo López y espero que podamos dar un gran combate el sábado a los aficionados. I'm absolutely ready to fight, you know, I'm an athlete 24-7. Uh, I got the three weeks notice for the fight, but I was already in camp, you know, training, uh, and I'm just ready to fight. I want to thank Top Rank and Bob Adam for the opportunity, and we're going to give a big fight to the fans on Saturday. Yeah, we hear that a lot. Uh, I've always, you know, you're always in the gym, ready to go. What does this opportunity mean to you, headlining the Garden Saturday night, Heisman night in New York City? A lot of eyes on this fight. What does this opportunity mean to you? ¿Qué significa esta oportunidad para ti? Una noche grande en el Madison Square Garden, eh, en la noche Heisman, una gran oportunidad para ti. ¿Qué significa? Para mí es eh, lo más grande que me ha pasado en mi carrera deportiva y prácticamente también en mi país. Es muy difícil eh, ser boxador saliendo desde España. Son 11 años de carrera profesional. 42 combates profesionales para tener una oportunidad como esta. En el momento que he tenido la, pro, la oportunidad, evidentemente no lo podía rechazar. Teófimo López, el Madison, Top Rank, hacer historia. Se trata de eso, de hacer historia. This is the biggest opportunity in my career. You know, coming from Spain, it's very tough to be a boxer. Uh, 11 year career, uh, 42 fights, and this is the bigger opportunity that I have gotten. So it was three weeks notice, but I had to take the opportunity. We are about making history, so that's why I'm here. I love it. Tio, I want to come over to you. In the ever-changing world of boxing, will we see anything new from you Saturday night? <laughs> Absolutely. You know, that's what I'm all about. You know, I think that we all have a, a canvas to perform at. You know, I'm an artist myself, so I'm over here just trying to be abstract <laughs> as much as possible when, I, when it comes to the ring. You know, it's all about just giving the fans what they really want, and that's entertainment. And that goes for everybody here sitting right now. We are in the entertainment business not boxing business and you guys got to remember that so by all means go go after everything that you can do you know i follow the likes of prince nasim and those are the things that you guys will see it doesn't mean i got a showboat like crazy you know however it's just all about just giving what they really want it's just not about getting the job done in the win it's what you do before and what you do in there and then afterwards um and that's why we are headlining madison square garden under a great card great card i mean the talent that we have here this is amazing for me. You know, this is the opportunity of a lifetime for anyone here. Every time I come out here to the Garden, this is my eighth time fighting at Madison Square Garden, fourth time in the big room. And um, all I can say, man, is just I'm very, very grateful, man, very grateful. Last year, nearly lost my life, and now I just get to redo it in a better way. Three weeks ago when uh, Pedraza pulled out of the fight, what was that like for you guys in camp? Did you have to reevaluate? change directions a little bit with a new opponent or was it just business as usual preparation is key you got to be prepared for everything and anything you know sometimes people are going to want to set a detour for you and you just got to be prepared for that as well you know you got to know that you got to know your routes and your your roots so really um no we're always prepared look pedraza actually was probably i'm not overlooking sander martin however you got to look at it you know pedraza even though he came off a draw he's someone that's able to switch from Sao Paulo to Orthodox, you know? So we already had that in camp. We had Sao Paulo's, we had Orthodox in the gym. So we already were ready for anything and, and everything that they had to come. No surprises over here then? The only surprise I think everybody's really gonna see is just like how better did I get from my first, my first career loss, my failure. You know, I think that really what I, I would like to tell everybody here is that um, you never really lose. The only time you ever, ever, ever really lose is when you quit. When you say no mas, that's when you really, that's when you lose. 
other than that, man, you, you have to understand that these failures are meant to make us stronger and grow. Why we have the greats and the legends like Jordan, Kobe, man, God bless his soul, you know, and Tiger Woods and LeBron James and all these other great athletes around the board, even Serena Williams, you know, everyone. And Tiana, don't leave And up. Tiana, of course, you know, um, and it's all those things that you really have to take in. A lot of people are so scared now, but this is a new time. This is a new era, you know. Uh, we all emulate Floyd in some way. He's taught a great, great, great uh, way of how you could move. However, it only worked for him. We all have a different art. We all have a different way. And I think that it's you all got to know your audience. Know your audience who you want to attract. Know who you're trying to shoot for. And uh, I guarantee you, you know, you'll be the first signed of anything like that. Look, I'm the first boxer to be signed to Bud Light because of it. You know, it's just a lot of work, though. You got to – the facts are there. You know, I'm not trying to brag it. It's just to help the, the new generation. And like I say, you know, when you're in here and you're doing what you got to do, no matter what it is, our job literally is, this ain't a job for us. We know what we're going to do Saturday night. We have fun. You know, that's, that's the light work. That's easy. The, the hard part is the cameras. You got to promote your fight. You got to go out there. Even if it's I Love Boxing Podcast and they have five subscribers or ten, you go and take it and don't charge them. Because they're helping you promote your fight and your your name. You know, I don't charge nobody when I go on these interviews at all. Because we're all helping each other. Do you bring beer? It's yeah, I bring me. beer. I do, I, I do a shotgun and whatever you like, you know. <laughs> uh, but, like, I'm available, too, you know. You can call me anytime. Guardy, I want to go back. Free Bud Light for everybody. <laughs> You just lost your sponsorship, I say. <laughs> uh, I want one more over here for Sander. Uh, we talk about the opportunity in the big room here at the Garden, but as I started with Tio, this is there's a title shot waiting after this fight for the uh, the victor. What does that mean to him to have possibly that opportunity dangled as a carrot in front of him? Esta es una gran oportunidad por la exposición que tiene en el Garden, pero también porque el ganador podría estar peleando por una oportunidad de título mundial. ¿Qué significa esa oportunidad de título mundial para ti? Al final eh, yo vengo para eso, vengo para, para ganar. Respeto mucho a Teofimo López, la carrera que ha tenido él como deportista profesional. Lo respeto mucho como boxeador. Solo deseo que demos un gran combate y bajemos con salud del ring el, el próximo sábado en el, en el Madison. Para mí es un momento muy especial, pero no miro más allá de este combate. Al final creo que él y yo vivimos en dos mundos diferentes. Él vive en el mundo del espectáculo y yo vivo en el mundo del boxeo. Cuando él estaba grabando entrevistas, cuando él estaba viendo a los Knicks, cuando él estaba de compras, yo estaba entrenando. Esa es la diferencia que va a haber el sábado. At the end of the day, you know, uh, we're just here to win. Uh, of course, this is a big opportunity and I'm going to take it, uh, but I'm not looking past that. I respect Teofimo López, what he has done in his career, uh, but we live in two different worlds. He lives in the entertainment world and I live in the boxing world. Uh, while he was doing interviews and was watching the Knicks and everything, I was training. So for me, this is the boxing world, and I'm here to win. Fantastic. You want to say something, Tio? I saw the mic come up. I always have something to say. <laughs> uh, for me, no, that's good. That means he's watching me, watching me close. That's good. That's where I need him right now. Perfect.